So are we gonna talk about the Olympics this week? Really? Like, for real? Because I'm pretty sure I don't have anything to add to the whole Olympics discussion. Um, it's happening. I'm not anti-Olympics. I'm just not a big Olympics watcher. I mean, I've seen some of the stuff. I was watching some volleyball the other day, and I've seen more swimming than I would like, because it seems like every time the television was on, there was somebody swimming, which, frankly, I think that's crazy. Like, swimming, to me, is one of the most insane sports, because it's just so... It's difficult, like it makes me tired just to watch people swimming because it's just such, there's so much exertion that's required in swimming. It's just like the thought of doing that. I always dreaded gym class when we had to go in the pool because I hated doing the stupid relay races and stuff. It was just, swimming is a horrible, horrible sport to me and it just amazes me that there are these people who willingly go in there and train for it and are just like fish. That's just incredible to me. But overall I'm just not paying that much attention beyond what people are saying on the news or at work or wherever. I'm kind of like your brother I think Changu in that I just, if the conversation rolls around to something sports related I'll just sit back until it comes to something very, very general, and then I might say something, but even then I probably just don't want to discuss sports at all. Kudos to the Olympics for bringing the world together through a common, a common love of made-up games and tests of strength. I mean, at least there's one thing everybody can agree on, and it's that we like throwing things and jumping and swimming and you know, seeing other people exercise while we sit on the couch and eat junk food. That's, that's, a, that's the dream that the whole world, I think, shares. But yeah, there's nothing like the Olympics to make you feel like an inferior human being. It makes me, it makes me feel like I'm not living up to my potential that I could have if I continued playing soccer or doing gymnastics or, you know, playing tennis. You know, I could have, I could have been the athlete. But, no, let's, let's, no, that probably would never have happened. I feel like you have to, a certain part of you has to be genetically predisposed to be an Olympian. Maybe I'm wrong, but, uh, I, I think people like me probably, uh, uh, it's just, it was never in the cards for me. I was never, never gonna make the team. But I am an Olympian here at Hipster Chicken, where everybody is a gold medal winner. That was not even, that didn't even make sense, I'm sorry. Also, I hate to admit it, but uh, I had absolutely no idea what song you and your brother were singing, Chengu, because I'm, I'm totally out of it. I don't know anything about anything, but uh, you sounded really good together. You should do uh, like a collaborative uh, musical theater channel, just the two of you, and I think it would be spectacular or something, I don't know. Long day, another long day. Anyway, yep, the Olympics are happening. Um, my opinions on them are really almost non-existent, um, but it's a thing and I am acknowledging it, so yeah.